Good afternoon, I'm Ray Lee with Speedboat Magazine here with Mercury Racing at the 2022 Miami International Boat Show at Sea Isle. We are on the water on uh, on board of a new 32NX from Fountain Power Boats and we're here with Ed Champion. How are you doing, Ed? I'm doing great, doing great. This is a, a beautiful boat and uh, you got new stuff going on with this boat. Yeah, so this is a brand new model, so a clean sheet of paper for Fountain. Um, the way this boat is set up, it kind of replaced our 32. A lot of the companies are going with a bigger model, 50, 60 foot. Um, research showed on our customers showed that they wanted something smaller. Yeah. They weren't they weren't wanting a, a 50 or 60 foot boat, but there's a lot of markets that were being missed and, and data showing that the 32 foot market was really where we needed to be next. Sure. So this boat was designed in-house by Fountain and, and put together, it turned out amazing. Yeah, no, this is a, so this is kind of like a, a what you call it, 32 NX, and it's, but it's a sport version. Yeah, so the this this model, the base boat, Fountain did things a little different. When you used to buy a Fountain, there was very few options on a lot of the center consoles. Sure. In the last couple of years, that's changed. So what we've done is we've decontented the boat a little bit, and you can um, order them and kind of spec them out. I think Reggie kind of sent them out the way he thought they were best, which right. was great then. But what we did it now is we work with the customer, and they wanted more choices and more options. and sure. so. Which is great. The factory listened to us. The engineer team at Fountain did a great job, and I think they hit the nail on the head with this one. Well, with the explosion of the outboard engines, and then especially the center console market, I mean, it's just the natural progression, correct? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Our, our Fountain sport boat guys are wanting something. The Mercury Power makes it pretty much a no-brainer to right. move into this next. Uh, they got, you know, header issues, uh, motor issues, what what have you, drive issues, whatever it was, right? Yeah. Um, they're they're getting. Uh, to the point in their lives where they just want to turn the key and go boating. They've got grandkids, they've got family members. They're bringing new people into the sport. We're seeing sure. a lot of new blood. Yeah. And the new blood wants things easy. They want things turnkey and reliable. And that's what we Mercury Power did for us. No, absolutely. And, and like you mentioned, Reggie, when uh, the Reggie Fountain designed his uh, center console boats, they were fish boats. There were. And he said um, he wanted the, the fishermen to get out to the fishing hole first. First, stay longer, and be the first back. Right, yeah. So there was a, there was a three things there, right? He right. wanted them to get out, go out further, yeah. fish longer, and get back first. Right. And uh, we transmitted that DNA right back to this boat. So therefore, you've got a proven bottom, very fast, very efficient with the power that, that's placed behind it. So um, it's, it's very user-friendly, and this is a fish boat. So. You were telling me earlier about this lounge area. Let's talk about this lounge area. Yeah, so this area is set up obviously for sport boating, uh, pleasure cruising, going to a bar restaurant, going to your friend's house, nice lounger up front. But this lounger actually underneath of it, it's a coffin box. And so this can be, this boat can be set up like this and you can take the family out one day and the next day you can, can be full of blood and guts and you can go fishing. Amazing. So the front area, if you just want a full out fishing machine, this can go away and we can block this out of the mold and this just turns into a casting or fishing area. The cushions come up, the rear headrests come off. I mean, if you want to transform the boat, but really um, this boat does both purposes. It's kind of the SUV of boating. Sure. You know, you can you can haul the kids to the soccer game uh, and, and the, during the day, yeah. and at night you can go clubbing. So that's that's kind of where we're at with this. Right. And then the upholstery is very unique. It's uh, got the famous uh, Fountain logo stitched into everything. So this is, uh, and again, the Fountain team hit it out of the park. They're thinking outside the box, coming right. up with some new designs yeah. and some fresh looks for us. Um, you know, the Fountain stuff or uh, NX stuff or SC, LX, um, you can still get that interior. If you don't like this, that's fine. Right. We're not forcing you to take something that we designed. Sure. So you can build the boat the way you want it, get the boat the way you want, and enjoy it the way you want to enjoy it. Right. Uh, but yeah, that uh, iconic emblem is, I mean, there's so many fountain loyalists. Yeah, that just why wouldn't you do that? And die with that, that yeah. emblem. Speaking of iconic, uh, the, the boat is built by Iconic Marine Group out of uh, North Carolina, yes. who also does Donzi Marine and Baja boats. And Correct. So um, you guys are still right there off the of Pamlico River and uh, able to test every boat that you guys built. That's right. right. Yeah. So everyone goes, uh, the team there builds it. You now they work super hard on this one to make sure it got to the show for us. Yeah. And uh, I mean, they worked some 18 hour days to make it just like everybody here at the show did, right? Sure, right. Yeah. And some of them, they always say they're built at the show, and that's no exception for a lot of the guys here in the booth. So. Yeah. Um, they get the boat built, they take it on the river, they run it, they test it, they prove it. Yeah. And then they can bring it back in the, in the shop and you know, Jeff Harris has been racing forever. Jeff right. can hang a boat in the air, look at the bottom, sure. make a few changes and then go right back to the water. Right. 
And that's the beauty of it, being down in Washington, is they have access to that. The facility is amazing. They have all the people there, the talent, the team, to, to build a product like this, get it to the water, first time out on the water, and run 76 miles an hour with no setup whatsoever. That's amazing. And, and, and the passion from Fred Ross, owner of Iconic, is just, I mean, he can't be beat, right? No, he's no. He's just so... He's a businessman at heart. Yeah. He is. And, uh, he, and he likes to win. Right. And so him and Reggie are a really good match, really, if Absolutely. you look at it. Yeah. Reggie is the same way. Uh, Reggie likes to win. Yeah. And Reggie spent a lot of money trying to win. Yeah. And then the partnership with Mercury Racing, I mean, it's kind of a three-peat, right? We got Reggie Fountain, Fred Ross, and Mercury Racing. What else could a guy ask for? Yeah, winning combination. Yeah. So they, they drive each other. To That's right. Yeah. That's right. Now, something new for this model and for 2022 are your glass windshields. Yeah, so this is an all-new console for us. So what we were seeing with the plastic style consoles um, and the corners is always distorted. So yeah. I get a guy out of a sport boat that's used to have his head above the windshield or a glass windshield and he gets in the center console and he's like, I can't see. Ed, I, I, the corner, what's wrong? Yeah. And so when you bend that um, plexiglass or yeah. Lexan, you're going to get a little distortion. Right. So what we were seeing was a lot of uh, other people and, and our Chris Craft models and things go into the glass windshield. Yeah. So this console will actually move over to the rest of our product. Fantastic. Yep. And then, of course, one of the best things about going out boating is feeling the wind and the sun, and that's why you've got the Phantom top. And you got the shade. Yeah. And if you ever boated in Florida, the worst thing is not being able to see out of it because it's yeah. full of salt spray, right? So now you got a windshield wiper with a, a, with a washer. Right. And so now, you know, usually you're saying, hey, buddy, go up and clean my windshield, right? And you're yeah. sending someone up to do the windshield. Well, this is easy. You just push the button. That's outstanding. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. And then you don't have any... Uh, blind spots or anything like that? Well, you still have a post in the corner, but sure. the way the boat's set up and the way you're sitting in the driver's seat, any any model you get in, you're gonna have some kind of area that you're, I don't care what it is, any, right. any bot sure. model you get in. So after a while, you just kind of adapt to it and you're, you work, you're around it. you work around it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, the, the, the whole thing is you wanna set the boat up for convenience. Yeah. You want your customer using it. You want your customer going out and, sh and showing it off. You want the guy to park it at the dock and turn around and look at it sure. and go, that's my boat. Right. And that's, and that's, that's what, the team at Fountain did for us. Coming over the dash, um, you'll see some automotive styling, some more leather on top of the dash with a uh, with a glove box, a sealable glove box, wireless charger. Yeah. You're seeing a lot of car conveniences coming over into the boating world. People got so used to all the new gadgets and features in the car that they wanted it in the boat. Right. So here we go. So bow thruster um, help with the ease of parking the boat. Sure. Again, another thing about you want your customer to take the boat out, to use the boat, and find it convenient to use. Not be like, oh, I hate going, I like, we like going out, but I hate parking. Right. So anything you can do to make the boating experience better for that customer, sure. they're gonna they're gonna go use the boat more. No, I think that's fantastic. And then um, very clean looking dash. So we, we're moving to C-Zone, which there's, I know there's a lot of manufacturers that have C-Zone, but um, this is a little different system. We're working really closely with the manufacturer, setting that up. Um, all the C-Zone, the switching, you'll see we got rid of Back in the day, we had the rocker switches, and yep. a lot of people went to the Boca switches. Uh, cleans the dash up a little bit. Sure. You still have some redundancies. So yeah. anything that you need quickly, you're driving down, you don't want to go here and go, oh, I need to honk at this guy. <laughs> so, you know, you still got the horn right on the dash. So right. anything that you've got, you need right away is here, yeah. the wiper. You don't want to, like, I can't see. So you got the wiper button on the dash. So yeah. we have some redundance features, but um, everything else is in through the switching. That's outside. I mean, and it sounds like you guys have a, a team that just goes through every potential situation and then work around that. With Fred and Jeff, that's their, their number one thing when I came to work with Fred and Jeff. It's that they said it's the people. Yeah. It's the people at the company that make things work. Sure. And if you get the right people, you can win. Yeah. And so that's what they do. They, they get the right people. They, they HUD, hunt hat for the right people. Yeah. If there's someone out there that wants to join a team that's innovative and, and, and wants to do boating industry and push it forward yeah. this is the good team to join absolutely i mean i've known fred and jeff for quite some time and they're just top of their game for sure yeah. and let's move on towards the back yep. oh wait back here. Let's see. but wait there's more these. yeah <laughs> so so you've got a, a, a slide down seat of course and then an armrest nice um some of them we put the cup holders in here too um, yeah. just kind of depends on the customer but we right. can do a cup holder there as well yeah there's some on the dash but uh, some people like to drive, some people like to sit. And then you've got some storage down here, you've got some waste baskets, that kind of thing. Outstanding, and then like the lounges up front, you got fold down armrest, yeah? Fold down armrest. Um, the rear, the nav light on the roof, you know. 
so many times people are climbing up on the roof, try to, it's automatic on this boat now. It's okay. just electric. You hit the navigation system and then that light comes up. Yeah. So no climbing on the roof, no going to find a pole. You're out at night sure. and you, you stayed at the restaurant a little longer, your, your food came late, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now you're trying to leave in the dark and you're like, oh, where's the pole? Anybody yeah. know where the pole's yeah. at? Right. Well, now you just gotta push the button. Very Again, cool. it's about conveniences for your customers. Yeah, and I, I'm looking at the retractable shade. Yeah, the retractable shade on the back. Um, and it's not for everyone, right. you know, it's a, Fourteen thousand dollar retail option, but the people that do want it love it. Yeah. Um, the, the, the back area turns into the kitchen. If we move back there a little bit, um, you've got your folding rear seats, right? Um, this is a sport boat model, so we've got our folding rear seats. So this area here kind of turns into your kitchen. Uh, you bring the shade back. You're coved out. You're on a sandbar. This rear seat folds down, and this is kind of a hanging out area. Yeah. If you want to fish, we have a different council for it. You get a live well. You get a slide out cooler. You can get a refrigerator drawer here. Yeah. Um, so it can be kind of set up how the customer's gonna use the boat. Outstanding, I mean, and then this access door has gotta be super convenient for the, any dock. Yeah, the dive door is great. Um, the only the only thing we find at Lake of the Ozarks the dive door doesn't work for, obviously, is when you're tied up to somebody. Yeah. Um, but other than that, getting in and out of the boat, right. um, whether you know somebody's a little older or whatever, it's, it's nice to have the dive door there. You still have the dive ladder off the back. Right. You don't have to use that. But it has a ladder that drops in, easier to get in out of the boat. So this is the 32NX. 32NX. Uh, what other models does Fountain offer? So in the NX series, we have a 32, a 39, and a 43. Okay. And then in the CC, LS, and SC, we have a 34 and a 38. Okay. Tell us about the differences between the NX, the CC, and... So you, the CC is more of a fishing boat. Okay. The LS is kind of a combination of the two. The front have rear backrest. Um, you have some features in the boat that you can do either or. Okay. Um, the SC, the backrests are built in. There's you're more of this kind of material in it. You're picking out your stitching color, your, your material here, your stitching, your vinyl, your logo, your secondary vinyl color. Right. Um, the lightning bolts, as we talked about, you can get hex, you can get diamond. And that's another thing that the factory did. They invested in a CNC machine, um, a sewing machine that they can do the logos. Yeah. All this interior is done in house. That's awesome. None of this is none of this is farmed out. This is all done by the Fountain team. Right. And then we can't forget about what uh, Fountain built its reputation on with the sport boats. Sport right? boats, right? With the V bottoms. Yep. Um, what models are available now? So right now, really, we're just doing the 42. We've done some 47s, okay. um, but we're doing. We did a refresh on the 42. It's got a new top deck. Yeah. Um, again, Mercury Power brought the, that boat forward for us. Um, 1350s, that boat will run north of 140. 1100s, we're at 126 with that boat. Yeah. Um, there's one that we delivered out towards your area. Knutson's just loving that boat. Yeah. We have another one being built right now with 1100s. Um, there's another boat running around um, with 860s. So we can still do the old old deck if yeah. somebody likes that old deck. Right. So there's and then the new deck. Um, so it just kind of depends on, again, what the customer wants. Well, yeah, I remember being out in an uh, iconic uh, facility and taking a ride in a boat with the uh, 1350-1550s, and wow, what a ride that was. And we still have a cat, yeah. right? So we have our 34 Fountain Cat as well. Yeah. We have two of those coming down the line now, um, mainly building that boat with 450s. Yeah. Again, Mercury Power. We can also do that boat under a 400R or a 300. We have a 300 that's finishing for a customer now that actually matches the, this boat. The performance on that Thundercat is, has been something else, right? With the 450s. Yeah. yeah. No, it has been. Are, so, what kind of performance are you seeing? You know, everyone was after that top speed number. Sure, that was yeah. kind of the thing for a while. And that the insurance companies were the only ones that really weren't after it, you know? Right. And so, um, what we found with that boat is most of the customers just want to show the passengers or their buddy that a boat will run 100. Yeah. You know, 100 is kind of the thing. You want to take someone out in the boat and show off of it, you just want to run it up to 100. Right. And that's really what it's about. Nobody really cares about, most of the customers care. I mean, you get, you ask Bob Teague or someone else standing on this dock, they care, right? <laughs> but most of our customers just want to be able to run 100 right. yeah. comfortably with um, a good cruise speed and reliability. Absolutely. And so what we've done is we've kind of propped it back down a little bit. Uh, we're yeah. running 34s on it. 36s are where the, you know, we get the high number, sure. but the boat's, better with the 34s on it so that boat with 34s is 120 125 the the built we just built right now with the 300s yeah. um they're jeff's playing with that boat now that he's going to hang it play at the bottom a little sure. bit 
but that boat ran 103 out of the box with 300s. Wow. And that was a great improvement. If you remember at uh, the Mercury Racing event where we ran the other boat, yeah. it ran about 96, right. and, you know, but so we're, we're gonna dial that boat in a little bit. Just again, our customers wanna see 100. Right. They, they wanna convenient, conveniences in the boat. They want nice interior. They want a phone charger. They want those kinds of things. So right. the factories listen to the customers giving them what they want. No, absolutely. And and to your point, you know, there's the old adage, like you always drive to the comfort level of your least comfortable passenger. That's right. So yeah, you're right. No, yeah. Nobody wants to go. Not everyone's, not everyone's comfortable at 135 miles an hour. They're right. just not. So uh, going back to this boat, we got your rocket launchers for the, uh, for the if, fish rods. If you do want to fish, yeah. Right? And then you're and you double our, our cup holders usually double as, as rod holders on most of our most of our models. You'll see that a lot. Right. Um, in our Lake of the Ozarks, people that's the only thing they'll pick out on the boat and call it a fishing boat. Right. When they see a cup holder that doubles as a rod holder, they'll <laughs> say, "Well, this is a fishing boat." Yeah. So you got to be kind of careful at our place down here. They love it, right? right. But at our place, we got to kind of be careful with that. So. And then this particular boat is powered by triple Mercury Racing 300s. 300, yeah, 300, 300 racings, yeah. yep. Um, what kind of performance does this boat see with that power? I took it out, just ran it first out of the gate yeah. and uh, yesterday, and I think I ran low 70s with it. Yeah. I think it's got 75.6 yeah. on the recall, so that's probably, you know, old boat racer Jeff Harris running the boat, right. trimmed yeah. up, just yeah. like perfect. I'm not going to compare myself to, to Bob Teague and Jeff Harris. So, um, you know, a trained professional will probably do a little better, but your average consumer, me right. or you, yeah. could get behind this boat, feel yeah. safe at 72 miles an hour, 74 miles an hour, right. run the boat um, very comfortably, yeah. good ride. We went out to the ocean, turned around with it, and it's just a, a nice handling running boat. That's awesome. And this boat is available in doubles and triples. Yeah, so you can configure this boat um, anything from uh, twin 300s to, to triple 450s. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Uh, has yeah. With the 450s, what? Uh, we, haven't, the, uh, we haven't built one yet. Yeah. You can just multiply the horsepower, and um, somebody you could probably kind of calculate it out. Right. Uh, if Jeff got 76 out of it, <clears throat> I would think it's going to run 80 something. Yeah. High 80s. I don't know if he'll get to 90 with it or not, but I think it would run 80, mid 80s up. I would sure. think. Yeah. Well, I mean, with with all the boats that you've, because you've been doing this a long time, Ed, um, with all the boats that you've seen in your time. How does the, the fountain line? So four years ago when we brought it back, um, for Fred said we were going to get to where we're at and where they're now. Yeah. Um, the fit, you saw the boats. I yes. mean, we can have a candid conversation, right? And you saw our, our, our product four years ago yeah. and it's come um, a thousand times forward. Yeah. Everyone on the teams knew where we needed to get. Right. Um, and we just needed to figure out how to get there. No. And uh, they've, they've done it. Yeah. They've done it. Absolutely. Yep. And that, that's about as long as you're going to get. That's, yeah. that's absolutely true. Well, Ed, thank you very much for the tour. This has been a... Yeah, well, thanks, thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. And always great to see you guys. We're on the wrong coast, I guess, for you. And I'm, I'm displaced, you're displaced. But here we are, right? We're happy to be here. Yeah, right, yeah, that's right. So this is Ray Lee with Speedboat Magazine from Mercury Racing here at the Miami International Boat Show. Thank you for your time.